welcome guys this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com and uh, this is the third video tutorial of pic 16f microcontroller series in this video tutorial I will show you how you can develop a microcontroller prototyping board for your own purpose and the procedure will be same for other microcontroller boards so uh, let's start doing this so for developing a simple microcontroller prototyping board you have to follow these five simple steps so first step is related to power supply section how we can design a power supply for our prototyping board then reset section clock section programming port section and input output pin section so uh, let's start with the required components for our microcontroller prototyping board for pic 16f 886 so this microcontroller is a 28 pin microcontroller so uh, let's see uh, which type of components we need so first one is the resistance this this one is the 1k resistance so this is a 10 kilo ohm resistance so this is a 12 volt 1 ampere dc adapter to power up the board this is a 16 megahertz crystal uh, this is a 28 pin dip ic socket this is a 330 ohm resistance now this is the voltage regulator very common voltage regulator 7805 22 picofarad capacitors 100 nanofarad capacitor 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor dc socket or dc jack 1 and 4007 diode a very common diode micro dpdt button female to female jumper wires lm317 which is a variable voltage regulator male connector micro push button pic 16f 886 microcontroller a preset or a potentiometer with value 10 kilo ohm 5 mm red LED so uh, now I am in Proteus and uh, here I will design the schematic of our prototyping board first I will start with the power supply section so keep in mind that uh, pick microcontroller can be operated at maximum 5 volts so how to design this power supply let's start I have a package of DC jack so this DC jack is required to connect the output of this 12 volt DC adapter to our prototyping board so this second pin is the ground pin so let's let's first place the ground signal now this first pin is the output from DC socket so after this DC jack I want to provide one on off button for uh, power so I have one DPDT switch let's connect the output of DC socket to the DPDT switch and you can also switch this ground from the DPDT switch so when we toggle this switch we will get supply on this first port and this sixth port i will connect one diode so for this diode you can see this silver line so this is the cathode of the diode and this is the anode of the diode in the schematic so this is the cathode and this is the anode so i will connect anode to this port one and now this diode will provide a supply for 7805 for 5 volt and this diode will provide supply for LM317 for 3.3 volt supply so I have this 6 port for ground so we will use it later so on the output of this diode let's connect a 7805 voltage regulator first one is the V in and second one is the ground and we have this 6 pin for ground I will place a connector here for this ground and the name of this connector is ground and I will connect this connector here so that if I give a same name to this connector as ground so there will be a connection from uh, this connector to this connector now V naught or the output is pin number third so this is our 100 microfarad capacitor and keep in mind this is an electrolytic capacitor and it has a polarity so one lead is longer and the other lead is shorter so this shorter lead is negative and uh, in the schematic this one is the negative side with lines and I will connect one ceramic capacitor of uh, value 100 nanofarad so the value will be 100 nanofarad for this capacitor and there is no polarity for this ceramic capacitor so, so you can connect this capacitor in uh, either way so why we are using these two capacitors so first one is this ceramic capacitor with value 100 nan uh, nanofarad so this capacitor will filter out any high frequency noise and uh, this 100 microfarad capacitor is to just stabilize the supply output voltage now I will connect one connector here so that we can use it for providing supply so I will give a name to this connector as VDD 
or VCC you can give any name so this is our 5 volt power supply so let's design it for 3.3 uh, volt for 3.3 volt we have a variable voltage regulator which is LM317 now the pins are different in this LM317 you can see uh, the pin number 3 this pin number 3 of LM317 is the input this is the V0 pin and one pin is adjust this first pin is adjust so because this is a variable voltage regulator we can adjust the output from this regulator with the help of potentiometer how we can connect potentiometer to this uh, let's first connect a 330 ohm resistance so the resistance will be 330 ohm this potentiometer so we have three pins for this potentiometer one two and three so center pin shorted with any of the pin on the side connected to this side and this is connected to this side and after that we have a connector for ground so we will connect ground here and the name is ground on the output of this uh, LM317 uh, you can add 100 microfarad capacitor and one 100 nanofarad capacitor so this negative is connected to this side why we need two separate supplies why we need this 3.3 volt actually uh, the PIC microcontroller will work on this 5 volt but uh, for some type of hardware like uh, SD card module ESP8266 Wi-Fi uh, we need 3.3 volt supplies so that's it the power supply section is completed next section is a reset section so I have this microcontroller PIC 16F 886 microcontroller I have the datasheet of microcontroller on page number 5 I have the pin diagram of microcontroller uh, you can see we have pin number 8 which is VSS and pin number 19 is also VSS and pin number 20 is VDD so VSS is the ground for microcontroller and VDD is the 5 volt supply for the microcontroller uh, let's go to the pin number 1 so first pin number uh, I will always use this pin for resetting the microcontroller because uh, there is an uh, there is a multiplexing on this pin so this pin can be uh, RE3 pin or MCLR which is the master clear pin and the master clear pin is an active low signal so what is the meaning of this active low signal when you provide a ground signal to this pin when you connect this pin to ground signal it will reset the the microcontroller and your program execution will start from beginning first we need a micro push button this one i am using this micro push button with two pins this first pin i will connect to one end of the micro button micro push button and on the other end of the uh, switch I will connect a ground signal so when you press this button it will provide a ground signal to pin 1 let's connect a resistance with value 10 kilo ohm we have this resistance in configuration like this one end is connected to VDD and the other end is connected to pin number 1 this configuration of resistance is known as pull up because pull up means if there is no state on the pin it will make the default state on the pin high is equal to VDD so this is the simplest form of the reset circuit okay next is the clock section how we can provide clock to microcontroller first keep in mind that PIC 16F886 has a lot of clock source selection options so one internal RC oscillator is also there but uh, the RC oscillators are not uh, much accurate the output frequency of uh, of an RC oscillator can change with the change in temperature with the change in supply voltage so I will not recommend you to use the internal RC oscillator for your applications so that's why we need some accurate or precise clock source for our microcontroller for this microcontroller we have pin number 9 and pin number 10 for oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 so i will connect oscillator 1 to this side and pin 10 to the oscillator pin this side now this is the simplest configuration of crystal and uh, we also prefer one load 
capacitance on each side of the crystal and the value of this load capacitance will be 22 picofarad or 33 picofarad so i will prefer 22 picofarad capacitor you have to connect these two ends to ground let's move to the next section which is a programming port section for programming purpose uh, we need minimum four pins first pin is the pin number 27 and 28 is the second pin these two pins are for icsp clock and icsp data then i need two more pins one pin is the mclr this reset pin and one is the ground pin so i have a connector of five pins this one clock pin for icsp and this is the data pin for icsp and one pin is this reset pin so i need this reset pin just give it a name rst reset in this five pin socket for programming i will connect all the required pins to this connector so first pin suppose it is vdd 5 volts next is the ground pin next one is the reset pin next one is the clock pin and next one is the data pin after that we have input output pin section and for this big microcontroller uh, we have three ports so first one is the port a you can see port a pin a naught to pin a5 port b pin rb naught to pin rb7 and port c from rc0 to rc7 so i i will use this type of connector to get connections from input output pins of the microcontroller so our input output pin section will cover after connecting all the required pins to the connectors for hardware interfacing i mentioned in the tutorial that there is no pin for vss and uh, uh, vdd on this package so how you can connect supply to the microcontroller i will show you here suppose uh, this is the pin number 8 of microcontroller and this is the pin number 19 of microcontroller and this is the pin or uh, uh, pin 20 of microcontroller so pin 8 and 19 from its data sheet so pin 8 and 19 both are ground so for schematic i will connect both the pins and i will connect these two pins to the ground and the pin number 20 is vdd or the supply pin so i will connect it to vdd and you can connect 100 micro sorry so you can connect 100 nanofarad capacitor in between these two pins there is another software for designing the pcb of uh, this schematic and uh, the name of that software is ares so i already designed a pcb board for my development board and uh, uh, let's go to that side now this is ARES Professional, it's a part of uh, Proteus ISIS. So I designed this PCB for my development board, you can design your own. Uh, I will cover it in some other tutorial series, how you can design your PCBs in ARES. But for now, uh, I designed this PCB and uh, you can take a look on uh, its 3D view. So this is a 3D view of my designed PCB so guys this is all about the development board of pic 16f microcontroller so in next video tutorial we will start the coding part and we will use this development board for interfacing the hardware so stay in touch guys and i will provide more video tutorials on uh, pic 16f and other microcontrollers so don't forget to subscribe my channel and thanks